Well, it appears that our dear friend Craig Kelly has joined forces with our other great friend of the channel, Clive Palmer, to become the leading force of the United Australia Party. And uh, we've noticed that all of our socials have been blasted with all of his ads saying, Australia needs someone who can stand up and say, Jam some horse dewormer in ya! You kids like Special K, that's horse tranquilizer. Go the extra mile. Well, anyway, we noticed that his ads are flooding our channel. If you watch Fatty, you'll probably get Craig's fat head in the middle of it. So we thought, why don't we just make a long three hour video littered with Craig Kelly, his beautiful mug everywhere. Bunch of hip hop beats for the kids to study to. Our videos on repeat for probably an hour of that. And then we'll put all of the tags at the bottom that will attract such ads, such as Craig, Kelly, modern day Ned Kelly. And we'll see how many ads we can cram into those three hours and attract some of that sweet ad rev, huh? So definitely don't do this. Definitely don't help this channel out by playing it in a second tab on mute and just leaving it while you're doing other work. Please don't do that. Here it is. Worst case scenario, Clive Palmer stops putting ads on our channel. What a terrible loss. Hang on, not the, no, not that shirt. Why? No, well, you wore it last time about yeah, massacre. Yeah. What's this video about? <laughs> Current massacre. All right. <laughs> And we're golden! Today I thought we'd do a quick video about the one liberal who actually knows how to do social media, Craig Kelly. Yeah, the friendly Geordies of the Liberal Party. He's a backbencher, i.e. there should be deli owners with shops called Debbie's Devilishly Debonair Devon that beat him in numbers, but he beats ScoMo and Albo. Look at this insta thought. Hundreds of thousands of likes as he stumbled across a secret that no other Liberal MP has discovered, which is instead of telling boring elite sanctioned lies, you tell funny dumb lies. Also have blood pressure so high that you look like a concerned beetroot who appears to be permanently confused as to whether it's his turn to talk in Parliament or not. Can't be any more Aussie than being a human McOsburger. I feel like I'm one of those knobs who works in a social media agency trying to break down the success of an influencer, which 99% of the time is tits. And Craig Kelly's no exception. Ooh. Baby thirsty. Some of the other boxes he ticks are drama. Like all climate deniers and anti-vaxxers, Kelly relies on a technique known as illiteracy. This allows him to misread studies and then repeat the misunderstandings to his audience, which leads to the scientists who wrote those studies saying, shut the f up, to which he replies, no, it's free speech. Doesn't correct himself and the rest of the Liberal Party, including the wets, pretend he doesn't exist, then go on Twitter to say, oh my God, how could the Republicans let Trump spread mistruths? That's why I like him, because he makes the worst faction of the Liberal Party uncomfortable just by sitting near them. <laughs> Can't get rid of me, can ya? No. He's making it harder for me to appear like I have convictions. He makes the wets dry, really proving that all these ideological divides are nothing more than the next social media influencer tip, which is, sell your soul for two nights in a mildly okay motel. Craig Kelly likes to paint himself as the last crusader, battling bigger battles than mere worldly quibbles. Heavenly, making sure that shakes say Merry Christmas, which I think we can all agree is a fair shake of the sauce bottle, and that sauce is f***ing tomato sauce, yeah, that's what I want on my snack pack, and by snack pack I mean cock, suck it and pretend it's your candy cane. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is a staunch defender of Christian values, but also of the Azerbaijani government. As a sitting MP, Craig Kelly has received multiple all expenses paid trips to Azerbaijan and as someone who's visited Turkmenistan, which is the country just on the other side of the Caspian Sea, got to admit, a bit jealous, that area is mad, but I swear he has less disagreements with the Azerbaijani government than he does with the Australian government. And he's part of the Australian government claiming, oh yeah, Australia could learn a thing or two about how to run a democracy from these blokes. Surpasses Australia's experience for sure. Coherent democratic process. If you don't know anything about Azerbaijan, including that you didn't know it existed until I mentioned it, purely based on the fact that its name is Azerbaijan, you know we can't learn a thing or two about democracy from there. 
In 2013, they accidentally released their election results a day before the election. Yeah, sneak peek, mate. The president made his wife the vice president. Hey, well, he's the president, mate. I give the missus something to do. The only person on earth that could learn a thing or two from Azerbaijan's election system is Joe Election Fraud Biden. Wow, a joke that makes you think. They're also, just casually, waging a war against Christian natives as we speak. In fact, war is a euphemism. It's more an extermination. Numerous war crimes, constant shelling of civilians. I would show you footage of their atrocities, but this is so much scarier. This tells you everything you need to know about their society. This is a pop song in Azerbaijan. Sorry that went on for a while, but where was I supposed to stop it? There is so much to unpack there. First off, wood. Second, glad to see they're big supporters of the LGBT community. Third, a society of Christians with bling. The oldest Christian society on earth, and Kelly's cool with a society that makes pop songs about wiping them out because... Oh, f yeah. I reckon there's less burgers in Azerbaijan than Bankstown. <laughs> I told you he's funny. His worldview is, I'm all right with public beheadings, systematic murders of the religion I'm hell-bent on defending, as long as I can see the face of who's doing it. Plus, they probably say before pulling the trigger, Merry Christmas. Bish. Christ, Craig, if you're going to pay Azerbaijan, at least praise that its sick capital city looks like aliens invaded the Ottoman Empire after the Russians invaded it. But to be a fan of those who have destroyed 89 medieval churches, 5,840 intricate cross stones and 22,000 tombstones, a lot of them replaced with mosques, when he runs on a platform of defending Christian values, brings me to the central reason I detest the liberals. If Craig Kelly actually liked the Azerbaijani government or genuinely thought Australia should be a Christian state, I'd say, hmm, tell me more and I might become a freedom fighter for your cause, sir. But he doesn't actually believe in these things. He believes in a free motel. You know that scene in Lisa Goes to Washington where she sees all the politicians as pigs eating money out of a trough? That's all I see when I look at Craig Kelly. In fact, that's all I see when I look at any liberal. You feed them any slop at all, a tiny donation to their campaign, aeroplane tickets. I swear you could give them a photo of Jeremy Clarkson that you downloaded off the net, just as long as it feels like a bribe. Red? Oh yeah, green tour, not bad. They'll squeal your praises because the only reason they're in what should be the most selfless profession there is, is for themselves. Craig Kelly's an anti-vaxxer, but he voted for no jab, no pay as soon as the slightest political pressure was put on him. He's a staunch defender of Christian values, but he defends probably the most anti-Christian government on earth. In fact, I'm pretty sure people say that they're worse than ISIS when it comes to persecuting Christians. And they get a pass with him because, well, they gave me a pass. It's like I'm in the MIB. Just thought I'd share this news with you because I think that we can do some serious damage to him by turning his little myth that he's invented for himself on its head. Meme review. The more boomer, the better. I want to see hundreds of... You think that Craig Kelly's Aussie because his last name makes you think maybe he's related to Ned Kelly. Well, if you think that, in the words of the guy from the castle, you're dreaming. Caliphate Craig. He loves Muslims. Get the hashtag going. Hashtag Caliphate Craig, because damn it, we're telling it like it is. He thinks Azerbaijan holds better elections than Australia, does he? Fact. 
Craig Kelly hates Australia. Make those memes, send them to friendly Geordies, and then spread them around the net under the hashtag, hashtag Caliphate Craig. Let's see if we can make his seat marginal, just to see if we can avert his lips any further when he's angry. <laughs> like this video if you agree that Craig hates Christians. Subscribe if you don't support his obvious disgust for Australia. And then, press the notification bell if you believe in the sweet sound of the national anthem. And if you really want to piss him off, donate to these brave Christian soldiers. Play it out, Todd Flanders. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war. Okay, Gatekeeper, Miss Lovin and I are currently undertaking Operation Piss Craig Kelly Off. He is at an open house, he's selling his house, and so we are going there now to plant an Azerbaijani flag in there. Hashtag Caliphate Craig. That's what we're going for, that's the angle. The other angle that we're going for is an unoccupied window without a real estate agent saying, do you, do you, do you have any questions, any questions at all? So there's two very impossible missions in one there. Finding an open window and not being annoyed by real estate when you're pretty much in the Shire. It's, look, I don't like our chances, but we're going there now. I tell you what, there is an uncanny coincidence with me rocking up at an MP's house and them wanting to quit or at least contemplating it. Now I'm not saying that that is the straw that breaks the camel's back, but I am saying, I think I'm a vampire. Maybe I'm dead and I don't know it. I never leave this room during the daytime, so I can't actually tell if I'm that susceptible to UV rays. I don't think I've aged in the last seven years, and I'm only ever allowed in an MP's house if invited in. Or did I get in? Ooh, bit of a removal of some of the sizzle there, but nonetheless, stay tuned to the end. If there's no music here, it's because it's an emergency broadcast Two in two weeks, what the hell is going on? But uh, yeah, to all the people that were saying, oh, it sounds weird without the music, well, watch anyway. No, but seriously, sorry for another semi-edited video. It's just when else are we going to use footage of me breaking into Craig Kelly's house? Legally, legally. That's why it's just gonna be a bit of a cutback on production, except for <laughs> my editor hates it. It's so much. It's not even. It's no, not I'm even for selling shirts anymore. It's just because it pisses him off. Brush shirts available at friendlychordies.com. I'm not going to do a visual effect. It's going to go, and you're going to be halfway through getting changed. <laughs> um. Yeah. So <laughs> let's talk about Craig Kelly, Mr. Kelly. You know how we were just sitting there saying, "Oh, make sure that Caliphate Craig is a hashtag." Still make sure that it is. I wish that I had my little hashtag model in front of me, but I don't. So we'll just, you know what it looks like. It's a hashtag. Hmm. But I still want you to pursue with that nickname. But let's turn it into an endearing one, huh? Because now he's an independent, he's making it harder for the government. You know why he became an independent? It's because for the last two terms, the wets have been trying to expel Craig Kelly. Now, this is all just from one of my sources giving me all the little backstory that I didn't know about this character that we were trying to create because we were in the process of doing it and then you had to ruin our lives! Now we're just gonna have to focus on Angus Taylor who's not as funny. But, before this he was installed by Alan Jones. Isn't that incredible that that guy is kind of just the shadow emperor of the Liberal Party and he was sitting there saying, mm, yes, he talks about World War II as much as I do. Put him in. So they put him in, but he is a dry now. For anybody who doesn't understand the difference between wets and the dries in the Liberal Party, wets are pretty much the ones of the Liberal Party that say, we like everything that doesn't infringe on bankers' profits. Yay! And the dries are, we don't like everything that doesn't infringe on bankers' profits. Boo. A lot more jowls in the dry, so ironically they have wetter voices. 
To put it in more musical terms, the wets would be Katy Perry and the dries would be Gregorian chant. I'm pretty sure the only reason there are two factions in the Liberal Party is just in case someone puts a condom over one of the bullets in Hyde Park as an art installation. The wets would say, oh, it's kitsch, leave it on. And the dries would say, over my dead body. And then there would be a constitutional crisis. Now, New South Wales really should be renamed New South Wetlands because the entire state is controlled by the wets. Or... You know, now that I'm thinking about it, it could also be called Berejiklistan. But the vast majority of, where, of the MPs in New South Wales are wet. Queensland is really where Craig Kelly is. In fact, every time that I look at him, I think, what are you doing down there in the Shire? And then I remember, oh, that's right. The Shire is pretty much just Queensland supplanted in New South Wales. So it does make sense that he is representing that seat. Alan Jones picked it right, as he always does. He's actually really good at calling elections. Every time you ever see an election and Anthony Green sitting there going, oh, I still have haven't called it. It's three weeks out. All the votes have been tallied. Mm, what am I going to say? Alan Jones said like three minutes into the ballot closing that, ah, oh, well, this is going to be a whitewash for the Liberals. So he's really good at that. And he picked him and put him there. What's happened since is the Wets have been trying to expel Craig Kelly because, oh my God, he doesn't believe in climate change. I do believe in climate change, but I care more about my job than the planet. And for some reason, that really annoys them. I think it is just the fact that they want to keep New South Wales moist. And as a result of this, they don't want these lumbering monuments to abstinence like Craig Kelly haunting their sphere of power. Wouldn't mind if he was in Queensland. I'm pretty sure Craig Kelly wouldn't mind if he was in Queensland. And let's be honest, everyone except for Victorians wouldn't mind if they were in Queensland. It's a nice climate. The point <laughs> for now... That's why as soon as he announced it, you saw Barnaby Joyce chase after him like Air Bud chased after his owner. Wait, mate, wait, have you thought about joining square dancing liberals? But the reason that Craig Kelly has survived for so long, despite being such an ill fit for the New South Wales power sphere, is because it's been really close for the last couple of elections. And if Craig Kelly chooses to resign, you're almost at a minority government. So they have had two prime ministers vouch for him at the last minute when the actual power base of the New South Wales Libs have thought, okay, we've got the numbers to expel him. The first time Malcolm Turnbull stepped in, the wettest of the wets emerged from the swamp, the liquid man that he is, like the bad guy in Terminator 2. Now see here, we are all fans of the opera. Allow me to put it in theatrical terms. Craig Kelly is in his second act. Then in 2019, despite what the press was saying that it was this miracle overwhelming victory for the Liberal Party, they're only up by two seats. So Scott Morrison didn't have the capital to get rid of him either. So he said pretty much the same thing that Malcolm Turnbull did, but in his terms, which was him... Now we're up to Terminator 3. The chick? Well, he's got tits as well. Now, we're all fans of Hillsong. Allow me to put this in biblical terms. Divine intervention. But recently, because Craig Kelly has been stoking the right people in his corner, i.e. he has got that large base of conspiracy nuts across the country voting for the Liberals because they've got a man on the inside, a.k.a. they assume that he might think that 9 11s an inside job, but I don't think he said anything about it. Sky News loves him. Sky News hates the wets. The wets are thinking we have to move because in the large grand scheme of things, they're thinking that this is a way of them wedging power into New South Wales. This is what I've heard is happening behind the scenes. So they've just thought, no, nah, we're just going to have to punt it. We're going to have to get rid of him until the next election, which they assume they are going to win in a landslide. So what they're doing in the meantime, and this is what Scott Morrison was saying, where he goes, I had a little talk with uh, Mr. Kelly and I made very clear what my standards are. Pretty much his standards were shut the f*** up till the next election and fall on your sword with dignity. But what he forgot is he's talking to Craig Kelly. <laughs> And so Craig Kelly, just this is the guy that in the last election was saying, if you primary me, I will make your life a living hell and I will blow up the government. He learned a couple of things in Azerbaijan. He is a suicide bomber. And they just said to a suicide bomber, hey, instead of just running into this building and pushing the button, how about you just sit in the waiting lounge and have a complaint to customer service? And so he said, Allah Akbar! Yeah, I got these at a flag shop. They were about a buck for 12. Can you believe that nobody wants Azerbaijani flags in Australia? 
Now that he has done that, he's put himself onto the crossbench. He's almost made the Liberal government a minority government. And he is saying that he is just going to be voting on conscious votes. In terms of supply, if you don't know what supply is, it's just money. But he is saying that he is not going to be voting with the government on conscious choices. And you know what I think that that's code word for? I think what he is saying is that if you don't play by my rules, it's Alua Akbar time. He has made it much more difficult for the government to pass legislation. He's made it easier for the Labour Party to sneak through legislation. He has become way more powerful than he already was. And he has taken away a section of the Liberal Party vote that they're not going to get back. So I'm thinking that Scott Morrison would have preferred, especially in the last couple of weeks, for this not to have happened. Nonetheless, it has. And that's why I applaud him. That's why I want to keep the hashtag going, hashtag Caliphate Craig, but putting a positive spin on it because he has turned the seat of Hughes into a caliphate. And in case you're wondering why I keep bringing up all these Quran references, well, you haven't checked out Caliphate Craig, have you, the video? No. Well, if you did check that out, you would know that the reference is to the fact that he went to Azerbaijan and said, wow, this is the most democratic society on earth, the one that releases its democratic results a day before the election. Yes, this is the same guy that goes on huge Facebook rants about how shakes should say Merry Christmas. Also, one of the most anti-Christian governments on earth is my favourite government. Even more favourite than the one that I got rid of, obviously, because I just blew it up. What I'm trying to say is, Craig, if I knew that you were going to sit on the cross bench and deliberately make it harder for the Liberals to govern, because let's just level with each other, that's exactly what you're trying to do here, and I applaud it, uh, I probably wouldn't have snuck into your house. But here we are. Now here he is. All right. He's running. That's a good sign. He's looking triumphant. Yeah, he's flexing! He's flexing and coming! It's done! Is it in? Yeah, we got it. Yeah! yeah. 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 Down. They got it. Damn. I was waiting. Damn. For ages. I was waiting. They didn't take it down. They weren't taking it down. <laughs> just right out of time. Subscribe. Brothers videos. Uh, Blows shirts available at FriendlyJoyce.com. Thanks for watching. All day. Come have a look. Craig Kelly can do. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's in the Australian too. The good paper. Did he learn from John Barillaro? <laughs> <laughs> what a f***ing idiot. I completely forgot about this, but thank you for reminding me of an Australian. A few weeks ago, we snuck into Craig Kelly's house, and remember how we called it? Operation Piss Craig Kelly Off. Well, may I just say, mission accomplished. First sentence, outspoke independent MP Craig Kelly has blasted a comedian who filmed himself sneaking an Azerbaijani flag into his family home during an open house inspection. Can we just all acknowledge how hilarious that opening sentence would be without any other context? That is the blurb to a Dennis the Menace episode. Look, look at my mischievous smile that they've chosen. Wait, I gave Mr. Wilson a free flag. Comedian Jordan Shanks, who goes by the name Friendly Geordie, oh, they're using my name now, uh, filmed himself rolling up an Azerbaijani flag into his hands and walking into the Hughes members' family home in Illawong in Sydney South last month. <laughs> the, stunt, the stunt is designed to mock Mr. Kelly's previous expressions of admiration for some of Azerbaijan's political processes, having made several trips to the former Soviet nation. Well, Australian, that is the half-truth, and I have to acknowledge that is a huge improvement on what you normally publish. But to remind everybody of the processes that he was praising, he was talking about their electoral system where they post the electoral results a day before the election. He thinks that Australia has something to learn 
from there. He travelled to Azerbaijan in 2016 to observe its constitutional referendum and in 2018 as leader of a delegation to observe its presidential election. And observe he did. There's less burgers here than there is in Bankstown. Yes, Mr. Kelly, very observant. That was worth tens of thousands of tax dollars. Azerbaijani tax dollars, mate. They call them gas bucks. Mr. Kelly praised the use of photographic ID and ink placed on people's thumbs to ensure that they had not already voted. What else do you think he would think is a great voting system? Mission Impossible security clearances? Rumple stilt skin? You have to solve one of those impossibles before you can vote? Yeah, yeah. Or, or maybe put him in one of them panic rooms. He told local media in the Islamic nation it was a coherent democratic process, though observers from the Organization for Cooperation and Security in Europe said it had neither been free nor fair. Ooh, a biff. Which one's right? Craig Kelly or an organization of electoral experts? I'm putting my money on Kelly. Let's have our own vote. Like this video if you think it's Craig Kelly. And like this video if you think it's the other one, whatever the f they're called. Hey, it's about as fair as Azerbaijan's elections. The Friendly Geordie's YouTube video, which was uploaded to YouTube, was divided into two parts. Yeah, the Australian. All of the mundane facts, none of the important ones. The second shows another man walking back to a vehicle before Mr. Shanks asked if the flag was still inside the house. What? You missed out the most important part of that, which was the Christo impromptu flexed. Yeah, Craig Kelly just got hudust can. High risk to reward ratio, bros. And it was, because both Christo and I were sitting around for hours thinking about something we could do to Craig Kelly's open house without breaking the law. So it's not even a high risk to reward ratio. There is no ratio. There's no risk here because, quote, in a statement, New South Wales Police said it was advised of the incident. Wow, thanks to Joe Hildebrand and Craig Kelly, I have become really acquainted with the New South Wales Police. And later confirmed to NCA News why no offence was made and therefore officers had concluded their inquiries. Yes! Sucked in, Craig! Geordie's one! Kelly nil! God, I actually feel like Spanion on top of the world. What are they gonna do? Arrest their future leader? Look at this sh how could you disrespect me? Nah, but seriously, no disrespect New South Wales Police, cops are tops. Mr Kelly, who recently quit the coalition government's ranks and moved to the crossbench as an independent, and that is why he is currently in the Australian now and this is written out fairly because it's both a stab at him and me, condemned the prank. Oh, party pooper. I believe it was a trespass. Well then don't have an open house inspection, dickhead. What is an open house inspection? Strangers come into your house, they look around, and then they get out. That's what I did. In fact, I gave you a gift. It was an accident. I didn't mean to leave it there. Blue Jack fell out of my pants, and then I used the flag to break my fall. I'm disappointed that the police didn't press charges. Over what, Craig? No law was broken. You don't live in Azerbaijan. I know that you might mistake that, what with the decor in your house, it's hard for you to remember that you live in Australia, which seriously, what the f***, Craig? That was your master bedroom! Where was the Aussie flag? Vote him out! As it sets a very dangerous precedent. What precedent, Craig? That the owner of a house gets a precedent open inspection? What, you think that that's just gonna escalate and escalate until they get a Rolls Royce? Yes, and I sold my house before I got the Royce. It's not comedy. The nations of Azerbaijan and Armenia have recently been involved in a significant military conflict where there have been numerous deaths on both sides. Yeah, that's obviously not comedy. You're the comedy. The fact that you support the Islamic State that is clearly the aggressor in this situation when you're supposed to be the pro-Christian candidate that stands up for Christian values in Australia, not anywhere else. The act of the comedian. Hey, comedic artiste now. I do performance art, in my opinion. Ha! Huh, they had to put that in postscript because they knew that Craig Kelly could get sued for it. But relax, Craig. I'm not like your politician friends. I want abuse. More abuse. The more abuse I get, the more my views go up. Really what's happening here is a YouTube collab. You are on the same level as me. You get views, bruh. Really, we should have one of those boxing matches. You and me, let's do it for charity. Come on, let's have our own Logan Paul v whatever the fuck that basketball baller's name was. Hey, look, I'm the whatever the fuck that basketballer name was in this situation. You're the one with clout, bro. Just to stoke and incite religious and ethnic hatred. Hey, that wasn't to stoke and incite religious and ethnic hatred. It was to laugh at Azerbaijanis. You know that YouTube channel, Angry Dad? That's just us with the country Azerbaijan. We don't hate them, we just love pissing them off. We hate the war the government's waging though. Though they do make completely up for it with their war rock propaganda. The only religious hatred we were trying to stoke is Christians against you, because you are a menace to Christians everywhere. 
in my opinion. It appears that it's now open season on MPs. They can publish our home addresses in the media. Craig, you published it in the media. Domain.com, you had an open house. You invited me in. What do you think an open house is? Just specifically everyone except someone who's going to put an Azerbaijani flag in the master bedroom? And with this knowledge, people can lie and deceive to sneak into our homes. I told my name to the guy. I literally said my name to him. And hang up flags. Banners. And who knows what else in our bedrooms and get away with it. What else could they be hanging up? Uh, slogans, posters of Robocop 2. <laughs> and there's no law to stop them. Extremely valuable artworks. I would be more to, if I saw the screen when I walked into my bedroom, I would reflect that emotion. Ah! Oh, even worse, an Armenian flag. This diminishes our democracy. As if it wasn't diminished enough from not following Azerbaijan's democratic protocols, you had to do this. Prop up Azerbaijan in my house, a supporter of them. Because in years ahead, who would want to be an MP? Yes, who would want to be flown around the world, going to the most lavish motels on earth to do, I'm assuming, deals with them? In the instance that somebody could give you publicity when you need it most, Craig. Who would want a pension that is, what, seven times better than the average person's? And a gold class card, like some kid from Scott's College for the rest of your life. Oh, okay, I just want some perfume, some hookers, yeah, why not? <laughs> Who would want that? Do right. What MP would take money from a repressive Islamic petro state if someone's going to use their free speech back home to do something about it? And there's no law against it. What is this, a democracy? <coughs> Sorry, I mean to mini again. <laughs> Dude, I feel like Steve-O. The five bedroom, three bathroom, Illawong house. It was fucking nice. I really was thinking of buying it. Wouldn't that be the ultimate meme? How much better would instead of I put a flag in Craig Kelly's house, I bought Craig Kelly's house for a meme. Sold for 1.65 million. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have bought it. Three days later at the auction. The Hughes MP told the St. George and Sutherland Shire leader newspaper on March the 3rd, Someone sneaked in during an open house inspection. Yeah, dude. You knew it was me. We did a video. The video said I snuck into Craig Kelly's house. It's my YouTube channel. You can see me waving the flag. What is this? We haven't connected all the dots yet, but we have our suspects. Mm, Tanya Plibersek, Dr. Fauci, this c and of course, Spanion. Very underrated crime, walking into someone's house at an open inspection. Some people call it open inspection. I call it open season. Good logic. Also, look at the part they highlighted. There's a little Easter egg in there of what Christo was filming. None of us noticed, but just look in the corner. <laughs> look, 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 look. There's some guy staring out the window, looking at Christo filming into the house, going, what the f***? I'm not moving in here. There's some weird kids in this neighborhood. <laughs> anyway. That was the funnest article I've ever read about me. Thank you so much, Australian, for writing it. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to me, even though that was the Australian. I feel like I should give them the credit. I, I almost feel like saying you should subscribe to the Australian because that made me really, really happy. I won't, but it's the closest I've ever been. Figures of my show are available in the description. Also, grab one of these shirts. All proceeds go to fame. And as a topper, Hashtag Caliphate Craig. Keep it going. It's working. Mission already accomplished. Now we're just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just overkill at this point. It's just fun to piss him off. Let's keep it going. I know that we can. Together, we can get more articles. Maybe one that reads, Craig Kelly replaces Christian Porter as Attorney General. First act, making Domain.com hide the address of the houses for sale, thus making the entire advertisement redundant. <laughs> like and subscribe. Please share and comment below. Come in.
understand your grievance. You cannot serve the king when you was cold. Live a lifeless, but if you can lose a limb instead of life, you can save the
that it's just it's free. It's enough. But if I could lose that, then anything was possible. Me, in the standard sense of a doula, was very limited. I was limited by the time I've been on Earth and the experience somehow and everything that comes along with that, with your age and your name and where you're from and your social class and your upbringing and what your dad did and what your mum didn't do and what your friends did and your first girl, all that bullshit. And if I could just say I'm none of that shit, then suddenly everything was open to me.
Like a knife, like he's always doing weird shit and stuff. Oi, no, 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 no. Like I'm a better bloke than him in a lot of ways. Clive Palmer United Australia Party Make Australia Great Put Australia First UAP Australian Government Political States Commercial Political Party Australia Campaign We're not going to take it anymore Craig Kelly Craig Kelly Clive Palmer Lockdowns Palmer United Palmer United Party Spam Spam Calls Spam Text Spam Text Messages Craig Kelly Spam No, not that shirt. Why? No. Well, you wore it last time about yeah, massacre. Yeah. What's this video about? <laughs> Current massacre. All right. <laughs> and we're golden. Today, I thought we'd do a quick video about the one liberal who actually knows how to do social media, Craig Kelly. Yeah. The friendly Geordies of the Liberal Party. He's a backbencher, i.e. there should be deli owners with shops called Debbie's Devilishly Debonair Devon that beat him in numbers, but he beats ScoMo and Albo. Look at this insta thought. Hundreds of thousands of likes as he stumbled across a secret that no other Liberal MP has discovered, which is instead of telling boring elite sanctioned lies, you tell funny dumb lies. Also have blood pressure so high that you look like a concerned beetroot who appears to be permanently confused as to whether it's his turn to talk in Parliament or not. Can't be any more Aussie than being a human McOsberger! 
feel like I'm one of those knobs who works in a social media agency trying to break down the success of an influencer, which 99% of the time is tits. And Craig Kelly's no exception. Ooh, baby thirsty. Some of the other boxes he ticks are drama. Like all climate deniers and anti-vaxxers, Kelly relies on a technique known as illiteracy. This allows him to misread studies and then repeat the misunderstandings to his audience, which leads to the scientist who wrote those studies saying shut the f up, to which he replies, no, that's free speech. Doesn't correct himself and the rest of the Liberal Party, including the wets, pretend he doesn't exist, then go on Twitter to say, oh my God, how could the Republicans let Trump spread mistruths? That's why I like him, because he makes the worst faction of the Liberal Party uncomfortable just by sitting near them. <laughs> Can't get rid of me, can ya? No. He's making it harder for me to appear like I have convictions. He makes the wets dry, really proving that all these ideological divides are nothing more than the next social media influencer tip, which is, sell yourself for two nights in a mildly okay motel. Craig Kelly likes to paint himself as the last crusader, battling bigger battles than mere worldly quibbles. Heavenly, making sure that shakes say Merry Christmas, which I think we can all agree is a fair shake of the sauce bottle, and that sauce is f***ing tomato sauce, yeah, that's what I want on my snack pack, and by snack pack I mean cock, suck it and pretend it's your candy cane. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is he's a staunch defender of Christian values, but also of the Azerbaijani government. As a sitting MP, Craig Kelly has received multiple all-expenses-paid trips to Azerbaijan, and as someone who's visited Turkmenistan, which is the country just on the other side of the Caspian Sea, got to admit, a bit jealous, that area is mad, but I swear he has less disagreements with the Azerbaijani government than he does with the Australian government, and he's part of the Australian government, claiming, Oh yeah, Australia can learn a thing or two about how to run a democracy from these blokes. Surpasses Australia's experience for sure. Coherent, democratic process. If you don't know anything about Azerbaijan, including that you didn't know it existed until I mentioned it, purely based on the fact that its name is Azerbaijan, you know we can't learn a thing or two about democracy from them. In 2013, they accidentally released their election results a day before the election. Yeah, sneak peek, mate. The president made his wife the vice president. Hey, well, he's the president, mate. I give the missus something to do. The only person on earth that could learn a thing or two from Azerbaijan's election system is Joe Election Fried Biden. Wow, a joke that makes you think. They're also, just casually, waging a war against Christian natives as we speak. In fact, war is a euphemism. It's more an extermination. Numerous war crimes, constant shelling of civilians. I would show you footage of their atrocities, but this is so much scarier. This tells you everything you need to know about their society. This is a pop song in Azerbaijan. Sorry that went on for a while, but where was I supposed to stop it? There is so much to unpack there. First off, wood. Second, glad to see they're big supporters of the LGBT community. Third, a society of Christians with bling. The oldest Christian society on earth, and Kelly's cool with a society that makes pop songs about wiping them out because... Oh, f yeah. I reckon there's less burgers in Azerbaijan than Bankstown. <laughs> 
I told you he's funny. His worldview is, I'm all right with public beheadings, systematic murders of the religion I'm hell-bent on defending, as long as I can see the face of who's doing it. Plus, they probably say before pulling the trigger, Merry Christmas. Bish. Christ, Craig, if you're going to pay Azerbaijan, at least praise that its sick capital city looks like aliens invaded the Ottoman Empire after the Russians invaded it. But to be a fan of those who have destroyed 89 medieval churches, 5,840 intricate cross stones and 22,000 tombstones, a lot of them replaced with mosques, when he runs on a platform of defending Christian values, brings me to the central reason I detest the liberals. If Craig Kelly actually liked the Azerbaijani government or genuinely thought Australia should be a Christian state, I'd say, hmm, tell me more and I might become a freedom fighter for your cause, sure. But he doesn't actually believe in these things. He believes in a free motel. You know that scene in Lisa Goes to Washington where she sees all the politicians as pigs eating money out of a trough? That's all I see when I look at Craig Kelly. In fact, that's all I see when I look at any liberal. You feed them any slop at all, a tiny donation to their campaign, airplane tickets. I swear you could give them a photo of Jeremy Clarkson that you downloaded off the net, just as long as it feels like a bribe. <laughs> oh yeah, green tour, <laughs> not bad. They'll squeal your praises because the only reason they're in what should be the most selfless profession there is, is for themselves. Craig Kelly's an anti-vaxxer, but he voted for no jab, no pay as soon as the slightest political pressure was put on him. He's a staunch defender of Christian values, but he defends probably the most anti-Christian government on earth. In fact, I'm pretty sure people say that they're worse than ISIS when it comes to persecuting Christians, and they get a pass with him because, well, they gave me a pass. It's like I'm in the MIB. Just thought I'd share this news with you because I think that we can do some serious damage to him by turning his little myth that he's invented for himself on its head. Meme review. The more boomer, the better. I want to see hundreds of you think that Craig Kelly's Aussie because his last name makes you think maybe he's related to Ned Kelly. Well, if you think that, in the words of the guy from the castle, you're dreaming. Caliphate Craig, he loves Muslims. Get the hashtag going. Hashtag Caliphate Craig, cause damn it, we're telling it like it is. He thinks Azerbaijan holds better elections than Australia, does he? Fact. Craig Kelly hates Australia. Make those memes, send them to friendly Geordies, and then spread them around the net under the hashtag, hashtag Caliphate Craig. Let's see if we can make his seat marginal, just to see if we can avert his lips any further when he's angry. <laughs> like this video if you agree that Craig hates Christians. Subscribe if you don't support his obvious disgust for Australia. And then, Press the notification bell if you believe in the sweet sound of the national anthem. And if you really want to piss him off, donate to these brave Christian soldiers. Play it out, Todd Flanders. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war. Clive Palmer United Australia Party Make Australia Great Put Australia First UAP Australian Government Political States Commercial Political Party Australia Campaign We're not going to take it anymore Craig Kelly Craig Kelly Clive Palmer Lockdowns Palmer United Palmer United Party Spam Spam Calls Spam Text Spam Text Messages Craig Kelly Spam Clive Palmer United Australia Party Make Australia Great Put Australia First UIP, Australian Government, Political, States, Commercial, Political Party, Australia, Campaign, We're Not Going to Take It Anymore, Craig Kelly, Craig, Kelly, Clive, Palmer, Lockdowns, Palmer United, Palmer United Party, Spam, Spam Calls, Spam Text, Spam Text Messages, Craig Kelly Spam, Unsolicited Text. Unsolicited text Craig Kelly. Clive Palmer United Australia Party Make Australia Great Put Australia First UAP Australian Government Political States Commercial Political Party Australia Campaign We're not going to take it anymore Craig Kelly Craig Kelly Clive Palmer Lockdowns Palmer United Palmer United Party Spam Spam Calls Spam Text Spam Text Messages Craig Kelly Spam. Clive Palmer United Australia Party Make Australia Great Put Australia First 
UAP, Australian Government, Political, States, Commercial, Political Party, Australia, Campaign, We're Not Going to Take It Anymore, Craig Kelly, Craig, Kelly, Clive, Palmer, Lockdowns, Palmer United, Palmer United Party, Spam, Spam Calls, Spam Text, Spam Text Messages, Craig Kelly Spam, Unsolicited Text, Unsolicited Text Craig Kelly.
learned to deflate my sense of who I was. So I understood that it's just, it's a feeling, it's a nothing. But if I could lose that, then anything was possible. Me, in the standard sense of a doula, was very limited. I was limited by the time I've been on Earth and the experience somehow and everything that comes along with that, with your age and your name and where you're from and your social class and your upbringing and what your dad did and what your mum didn't do and what your friends did and your first girl, all that bullshit. And if I could just say, I'm none of that shit, then suddenly everything was open to me.
up night like he's always doing weird shit and stuff. Oi, no, no, no. Like I'm a better bloke than him in a lot of ways.
candidates. I'm all right with public beheadings, systematic murders of the religion I'm hell bent on defending, as long as I can see the face of who's doing it. See we know, see, you know, see we know, see. Yeah, <laughs> Na, 
Anjo Bazani, Moss Pop Buzzy he does the same by Bunch and the Nifir Vage Lost Seat. I reach some us, you see, the Peter Sarshray, which you do fear Snuba, Sneak with a swing relation of snort, smell or hope through me. The Shanimus can rot. The same if he's a rope, half me. Yep, he was that to be the Anish Snake or Wings Yell. He was that such a sorry. He sent it cushed up. How? Yup. Arf Nishella Quash. See, Miss Sister Nishella was nice, she was amateur fierce, doing it in her because they're not in his earth, you know.
I didn't Nice, Slaws <laughs> Yeah, 
Natürlich, ja, ich hoffe, sie sind da, ich hoffe, 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 
Hang on, not the, no, not that shirt. Why? No. Well, you wore it last time about yeah. massacre. Yeah. What's this video about? <laughs> Current massacre. All right. <laughs> and we're golden. Today I thought we'd do a quick video about the one liberal who actually knows how to do social media, Craig Kelly. Yeah, the friendly Geordies of the Liberal Party. He's a backbencher, i.e. there should be deli owners with shops called Debbie's Devilishly Debonair Devon that beat him in numbers, but he beats ScoMo and Albo. Look at this insta thought. Hundreds of thousands of likes as he stumbled across a secret that no other Liberal MP has discovered, which is instead of telling boring elite sanctioned lies, you tell funny dumb lies. Also have blood pressure so high that you look like a concerned beetroot who appears to be permanently confused as to whether it's his turn to talk in Parliament or not. Can't be any more Aussie than being a human McOsburger! I feel like I'm one of those knobs who works in a social media agency trying to break down the success of an influencer, which 99% of the time is tits. And Craig Kelly's no exception. Ooh. Baby thirsty. Some of the other boxes he ticks are drama. Like all climate deniers and anti-vaxxers, Kelly relies on a technique known as illiteracy. This allows him to misread studies and then repeat the misunderstandings to his audience, which leads to the scientists who wrote those studies saying, shut the f up, to which he replies, hey, it's free speech. Doesn't correct himself, and the rest of the Liberal Party, including the wets, pretend he doesn't exist, then go on Twitter to say, oh my God, how could the Republicans let Trump spread mistruths? That's why I like him, because he makes the worst faction of the Liberal Party uncomfortable just by sitting near them. <laughs> Can't get rid of me, can ya? No. He's making it harder for me to appear like I have convictions. He makes the wets dry, really proving that all these ideological divides are nothing more than the next social media influencer tip, which is, sell your soul for two nights in a mildly okay motel. Craig Kelly likes to paint himself as the last crusader, battling bigger battles than mere worldly quibbles. Heavenly, making sure that shakes say Merry Christmas, which I think we can all agree is a fair shake of the sauce bottle, and that sauce is f***ing tomato sauce, yeah, that's what I want on my snack pack, and by snack pack I mean cock, suck it and pretend it's your candy cane. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is he's a staunch defender of Christian values, but also of the Azerbaijani government. As a sitting MP, Craig Kelly has received multiple all-expenses-paid trips to Azerbaijan, and as someone who's visited Turkmenistan, which is the country just on the other side of the Caspian Sea, got to admit, a bit jealous, that area is mad, but I swear he has less disagreements with the Azerbaijani government than he does with the Australian government, and he's part of the Australian government, claiming, Oh yeah, Australia could learn a thing or two about how to run a democracy from these blokes. Surpasses Australia's experience for sure. Coherent democratic process. If you don't know anything about Azerbaijan, including that you didn't know it existed until I mentioned it, purely based on the fact that its name is Azerbaijan, you know we can't learn a thing or two about democracy from there. In 2013, they accidentally released their election results a day before the election. Yeah, sneak peek, mate. The president made his wife the vice president. Hey, well, he's the president, mate. I give the missus something to do. The only person on earth that could learn a thing or two from Azerbaijan's election system is Joe Election Fried Biden. Wow, a joke that makes you think. They're also, just casually, waging a war against Christian natives as we speak. In fact, war is a euphemism. It's more an extermination. Numerous war crimes, constant shelling of civilians. I would show you footage of their atrocities, but this is so much scarier. This tells you everything you need to know about their society. This is a pop song in Azerbaijan. Oh, 
Sorry that went on for a while, but where was I supposed to stop it? There is so much to unpack there. First off, wood. Second, glad to see they're big supporters of the LGBT community. Third, a society of Christians with bling. The oldest Christian society on earth, and Kelly's cool with a society that makes pop songs about wiping them out because... Oh, f*** yeah. I reckon there's less burkers in Azerbaijan than Bankstown. <laughs> I told you he's funny. His worldview is... I'm alright with public beheadings, systematic murders of the religion I'm hell-bent on defending, as long as I can see the face of who's doing it. Plus, they probably say before pulling the trigger, Merry Christmas. Bish. Christ, Craig, if you're going to pay Azerbaijan, at least praise that its sick capital city looks like aliens invaded the Ottoman Empire after the Russians invaded it. But to be a fan of those who have destroyed 89 medieval churches, 5,840 intricate cross stones and 22,000 tombstones, a lot of them replaced with mosques, when he runs on a platform of defending Christian values, brings me to the central reason I detest the liberals. If Craig Kelly actually liked the Azerbaijani government or genuinely thought Australia should be a Christian state, I'd say, hmm, tell me more and I might become a freedom fighter for your cause, sure. But he doesn't actually believe in these things. He believes in a free motel. You know that scene in Lisa Goes to Washington where she sees all the politicians as pigs eating money out of a trough? That's all I see when I look at Craig Kelly. In fact, that's all I see when I look at any liberal. You feed them any slop at all, a tiny donation to their campaign, aeroplane tickets. I swear you could give them a photo of Jeremy Clarkson that you downloaded off the net, just as long as it feels like a bribe. Ring? Oh yeah, grand tour, not bad. They'll squeal your praises because the only reason they're in what should be the most selfless profession there is, is for themselves. Craig Kelly's an anti-vaxxer, but he voted for no jab, no pay as soon as the slightest political pressure was put on him. He's a staunch defender of Christian values, but he defends probably the most anti-Christian government on earth. In fact, I'm pretty sure people say that they're worse than ISIS when it comes to persecuting Christians. And they get a pass with him because, well, they gave me a pass. It's like I'm in the MIB. Just thought I'd share this news with you because I think that we can do some serious damage to him by turning his little myth that he's invented for himself on its head. Meme review. The more boomer, the better. I want to see hundreds of... You think that Craig Kelly's Aussie because his last name makes you think maybe he's related to Ned Kelly. Well, if you think that, in the words of the guy from the castle, you're dreaming. Caliphate Craig. He loves Muslims. Get the hashtag going. Hashtag Caliphate Craig, because damn it, we're telling it like it is. He thinks Azerbaijan holds better elections than Australia, does he? Fact, Craig Kelly hates Australia. Make those memes, send them to friendly Geordies, and then spread them around the net under the hashtag, hashtag Caliphate Craig. Let's see if we can make his seat marginal, just to see if we can avert his lips any further when he's angry. What? Like this video if you agree that Craig hates Christians. Subscribe if you don't support his obvious disgust for Australia. And then, press the notification bell if you believe in the sweet sound of the national anthem. And if you really want to piss him off, donate to these brave Christian soldiers. Play it out, Todd Flanders.